What's up, Snell? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Thank you again, The Last Ride Distribution. We have some more bulldozing gore to go over. Mexico's Discords with Nur Holocaust. This has a fucking abhorrent cover on it, so yeah. Not only is this 2003 release just a total 120% slab of bulldozing, hyper-blasting gore metal. It's just another Disgorge album that is absolutely insane. As Disgorge and the gore metal army really, really nailed Christ to the cross with this one. This is filthy. Like, first off, Disgorge covering fucking abhorrence is just like so so fucking cool but also the eight original tracks that are on here are just disgusting and I love just that Disgorge fucking drum sound inhuman vocals and the fact that they somehow actually have killer Riffing. Something not a lot of bands that play hyper blasting fucking gore grind manage to do. But Disgorge always have riffs. You could listen to Forensic, you know, check out whatever album you want, but like, you're always gonna find some of the sickest tunes ever recorded. And that's, you know, not over-exaggerating. Like, I'm being dead fucking serious. Like, in 2003, I was getting ready for graduation and stuff. And, um, I was aware of the American Disgorge, but not the Mexican Disgorge. Until, um, a buddy of mine who used to work at, um, the Relapse Records Warehouse, he, uh, had a copy of Forensic, and he had a copy of a, a cock and ball torture demo. I remember, I remember that because it was on, it was on like a CDR, and um, I, we just thought it was the funniest shit ever. Because like, I'm sorry for all you like fans of uh, CBT out there, the band. <laughs> like, if you ever notice, like. There's some new metal riffs in that shit. Like, there's parts that straight up sound like fucking corn. And it, it, it's like, what the... This is pretty terrible. <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. They... I haven't listened to Cock and Ball Torture in decades. <laughs> so I don't know what they sound like now. But I remember, like... When we first started listening to them, that's why we thought it was so funny. Because it sounded like, at times... Like, new metal with, like, pitch-shifted vocals. And it just sounded fucking funny. But when it comes to Discord, there's nothing funny about this fucking record. Cassette, whatever. And gentlemen is hyper blasting gore grind <laughs>
Disgorge Nur Holocaust. And I, I honestly don't really know how to pronounce this because it's um actually I just noticed that um there's a C thrown in there. So it's Nakar Holocaust? Nakar Hol Nakolocaust? <laughs> I don't know. N E C R Holocaust. Uh, I'm sorry, but it fucking rules. It's Disgorge from Mexico. That's all you need to know. It's Mexico's Disgorge. And they cover an abhorrent song. Fuck yeah. But also, if you've ever seen photos of Disgorge, like promo photos, or them playing live, you also might notice they wear, like, you know, big spiked gauntlets. Like, they're a war metal band almost, but... Sometimes, like, the, they'll wear aprons and whatnot, and just, th like, their stage show is just as over-the-top and insane as their musical delivery is. And their Abhorrence cover is fucking <laughs> ridiculous. I, I love it. Like, I seriously do. Like, I fucking love it. Like, as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know that that was on here, and it just, like, caught me off guard. I was like, wait, what? Is that what I think it is? And I was like, oh, my God. But this, you know, is fucking so sick. I can't thank Last Drive Distribution enough. Because, like, right now, I mean... I'm very happy with my Disgorge collection. Like, Forensic and... Chronic Corpora Infest on vinyl and cassette, and now having um, Nur Holocaust on cassette, like, fucking A, you know, like, I'm getting closer, like, I really need to get this on wax, and I forget what I, what else I'm missing, I know I'm missing some other stuff, too, but, um, I know some people, this is their favorite Discord's release, it's up there for like this is something I I actually haven't thought about until right now. So let me not grab the 12 inch version of Forensic. I mean, obviously, like I'm gonna get all three full lengths right here that I have. But really quickly, I'm just gonna show you the covers. Like here is the debut. Super fucking brutal. And a killer fucking slab of bulldozing gore metal. Then we have, like, I, I would probably have to say this is my personal favorite. And, again, don't judge me based on the album cover. The album cover, just ignore it if it bothers you. And pay more attention to the fucking music and this sick blood red cassette tape. But also, like, the LP colors, super gnarly also. But the cover art, yeah, it's fucking super sick. And, you know, this is probably my favorite Discord record. It's just so over the top. So fucking sick. Everything about, like, gore and, like, death metal and grind is just all... And even black metal. Like, there's parts on there, like, where the atmosphere just drops, and, like, it's all gloomy, and it's fucking great. And just Forensic is Disgorge, I would say experimenting a little bit, but still just keeping it absolutely brutal and creating what is, in my opinion, one of the most brutal albums ever when it comes to gore grind and extreme music period like one day i want to do a you know king of gore video and like you know go over some super sick shit like last days of humanity uh pharmacist if i can get copies of the pathologist like um cassettes that extremely rotten reissued they deserve a spot and here's the carcass material I would be using for that. It would be the fucking peel sessions. 
Now, why would I use this instead of just going with um, Rika Putrefaction or Symphonies of Sickness? Because to me, this is Carcass at their most just raw and savage. I mean, this is live at the BBC. 1988 this was recorded. And then the second session is from 1990. And then this one also has the Godflesh session on it, which is so fucking good. It sounds amazing. But that's a tale for... I've already gone over it, but like... When it comes to, you know, gore, grind, some of it does, it's a, some of it's pretty terrible. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna front, it, it is. But a lot of it, like, you know, if you know what you're looking for, like bands like Dead Infection, Rotten Sound, like there's some, there's some fucking bangers out there. Like if you've never heard Rotten Sound Murder Works, you're fucking up. Or if you never heard, like, Exit by Rotten Sound either, you're fucking up. Great, great just grind records, though. Like, Murder Works has that carcass feel to it a little bit still. But Exit, oh, man. I, I think that's out of print, actually. But that's, like, I, I, I wish I still had a copy of that. Like, that... I, I got to see Rotten Sound live a few times, and they were they are always so fucking good. But, Disgorge Mexico, Nur Holocaust, I know I'm saying that wrong, and I apologize. But this is a band I'm dying to see live. Like, I, I fucking, they're like on my, they're one of those bucket list bands. Like, if I could see Disgorge in a live setting, I'll be very happy. Hell, I never thought I would see Cyanide, and I got to see Cyanide. So, like, you know, maybe it will happen. It's just one of those things, like, play Maryland Death Fest or something, like, I can get to. Please, do, like, a mini East Coast tour. But, um, yeah, if you're looking for some of the most gnarly music in the extreme metal underground, look no further than Disgorge Mexico. Their entire discography is fucking ridiculous. There's nothing on it that is remotely mediocre, that is remotely, like, just... Everything they put out is just gnarly. Like, even on Forensic, like, they're, they had just gotten back from a tour with Cannibal Corpse, and they killed it enough that Corpse Grinder, you know did guest vocals on a track that's on Forensic, and that's fucking awesome, because it's like, whoa, like, there's that Cannibal Corpse connection also in there, which goes to show, like, all right, like, this band obviously, like, they won over Cannibal Corpse on tour. So, like, yeah, you, you're doing something right. And having George on that record, it does make it, like, you know... As I always tell people, like... Because I have friends that, I get it, they have kids and stuff, and they're like, yeah, I can't, I can't be having records like that, like, lying around. And I, I get it. Like, I 100, I do, I 100%, like, get it. Like, especially Hymns of uh, Indigestible Separation by Last Days of Humanity. Like, there's no way you can censor any of this. Like, the back of it has gore, the front has gore. I mean, you could, but, like, you would have to do it yourself, but, like, I'll show you real quick, because some labels, when it comes to gore and, uh, whatnot, like, for example, I'm gonna use Pissgrave as an example, with, the uh, something I know can't really, you know, we'll, we'll use Suicide Euphoria, because the cover is not as gnarly as the demo, or... Past humanist humiliation. But here's how, if you have a copy of any piss grave on vinyl, you were and you own like a record store and you wanna like sell this, but like you think that might gross out some customers, here's what you do. And it is extremely simple. Cause on this side it's even like that's the sick shit. Cause that's the full cover. <laughs> So, here's what you do. You get this side. 
black with the album title. You put it in front like that. And it would probably help if um, you use a regular vinyl sleeve instead of the cardboard one. If you're going to do what I'm going to show you. Especially if you own a record store, like I said. But I don't know how, if you own a record store, you, you know, have your records set up. But here's how you censor the cover. I've done this before. But, ta-da! No more offensive cover. If, you know, you work at some weak record store, or somebody, like I said, somebody has a family and doesn't want gnarly fucking death lying around their house. That's how you censor a Pissgrave album. And you can do that with anything. Like, um, let me check real quick with the first Discord record. I know this video could be over, but let me check this real fast, because I know this is a problem for some of you when it comes to gore grind and having some album covers that are you know, of questionable taste, I'll say, because, you know, it, it's gore. It, it's meant to be, like, gnarly and, you know, to quote a friend of mine that plays in Pissgrave, you can't get that blood red through Photoshop. You need the real fucking deal. And I, I, get, I get it completely. So... Let's try the first Disgorge record, because the cover is super gnarly. So, alright, we can do it. Band promo photo tells you, uh, uh, we don't have the album title, but we have the album title on the side, so. This is a real nice colored LP, I'll show you in a moment, but just put this over the actual cover art. You know what? Here's the disc. Well, the LP. Hails to Last Dry Distribution and Corpse Crystal Records. As well as um, Burning Dogma. But heavy hails to um, Last Dry Distribution for sending this my way alongside... That Dead Infection, Corpses of the Universe EP, the Disgorge record in my hand, the Disgorge cassette, that Last Days of Humanity. But you just put this in front. And again, you have your album title and big font right there. And boom, you have yourself a censored Disgorge record. Ta-da! And the back is a little, a little blurry, but you could tell there's some gore there. But there you go. That's how you censor Disgorge if you have to. But when it comes to the cassettes, uh, yeah, you, I mean, you can, you can do what you want if you need to hide the cover art. But that's, you know, it's up to you. And again, like, if you, like, run a record store and you still sell cassettes and you're worried about the cover art, that's how you hide that shit. But when it comes to Disgorge Mexico, like I was saying, I don't really think you can one-up Forensic. But this is pretty fucking close. 2003's Nur Holocaust, and again, I'm sorry I'm saying the title wrong, on Extreme Music and licensed through Catatonia in 2003, this fucking rules. Bulldozing gore from Mexico. Thank you to Last Ride Distribution for making this video happen and adding to my Disgorge collection. As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Listen to Discord Mexico, and if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you, but if you do like it, fucking A.